Hello everyone, welcome to lesson 17 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial, I'm going to be covering random numbers. And so far in our tutorials, we've learned how to do direct things with programs, such as, you know, print statements or um, even, even if statements aren't uh, really giving too many options to the computer, or it's not random, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Um, we still control what the outcome is going to be. And random numbers basically is like rolling a die or flipping a coin. It has a sense of randomness to it. And sometimes, or obviously for games, um, that can be really useful. So that's what we're basically learn going to learn in this tutorial. And um, our tutorial is going, or our function rather, is going to simulate rolling a die. So numbers one through six. And um, just one thing before I begin, um, the random number generators on computers aren't perfect, or they're not yet anyway, basically because everything on a computer is very, um, I mean, there's not really a way to program randomness, so um, there's no flip coin inside your computer, so hence there's not exactly um, a random thing inside your computer, so it's it's not exactly overly accurate, but it is um, pretty much as accurate as we'd ever expect it to be. And um, when you do multiple tests, you can see that it uh, does get pretty accurate. So anyway, um, don't really worry about that. Um, these are great ways, and this tutorial could help you, um, for instance, when you don't have a dice lying around and you want to play a board game. Um, you could even run this just to play your game. So anyway, um, to start out, we need to make two new pound includes uh, one is the standard library header file, and this is our random number generator. It has two functions, sorry. One's the random number generator, and the other is to get um, values. It returns an integer value for uh, the, the random number that it's going to return, and that'll make sense in a second. Um, and then the second one, pound include, and the second one is time.h, which doesn't really seem to make any sense, but... Um, Basically, the random number generator works off of um, time in your computer. It's kind of a complicated process, and you really don't need to worry about it. Um, all you need to know is that you need these two pound include statements, standard library.h and time.h, so these two header files. So to basically build our random number generator, or to start it up, um, we need to create our function srand, which is basically setting up our random number generator, and inside this we're always going to put, put clock, this clock function inside. The clock function is from time, and the srand, srand is from the standard library, and this, this function right here, or this statement rather, is creating our random number generator. So this statement, all it means is it's going to create our random number generator. I'm not really going to go into how it works because it's really just kind of confusing and um, I'd be here all day explaining it. So that's all you really need to know. That's how you, you create a random number generator. So we haven't actually specified what we're going to take out of it, but this just creates it. So that's the starting block. Okay, so now this is the important part of where we actually start taking out uh, the numbers. So there's another function called rand, or random, um, and basically what it takes is it takes, um, it uses this random number generator, and we have to specify how many numbers we want to take out of this. So what we have to do is we use our mod symbol, and then we use, um, for our case, we're going to use six, because we want six possible outcomes. So um, kind of how this is going to work is it's going to return, um, or how even just th think about this for a second. If we have a number and we um, use the modulus operator on it and we're dividing it by six, we can have remainder zero, one, two, three, four, and five, right? Like any number in here, and we divided it by six, we can have a remainder from zero to five. So basically, what that means is those are going to be our random numbers anywhere from zero. To five, but for a dice, we obviously don't have a zero on die or on a die, so we uh, just add one to that, and that's our solution. So basically, what this is going to do is 
the random number that's in, created in here is going to be divided by 6, and whatever the remainder is, is going to be the, the number that it returns. So um, we have some number in here, we divide it by 6, okay, so now um, let's say our remainder is 5, F remainder of 5, and so now if we add 1 to that, we get 6. So as you can see, if we have we have remainders 0 through 5, and at the end we add 1 to that, so it shifts all the numbers over basically by 1, and now we have numbers 1 through 6 as possible values. So that's basically, we just created our random number generator right there. So now, if we want to assign this to an integer, we could easily say out front int, and we could just call this, I don't know, num, and then we could get that, that get this value. So what's going to happen again, we created our random number generator here, we have our random number inside here, and we take um, the remainder of whatever the um, number is that we define it to be. So in this case, it can be remainder 0 through 5, but we want um, numbers on a die, so we add 1 to that to make everything shift 1 up, so 1 through 6 instead of 0 through 5. And so basically, whatever this value is from this function here is going to go to our num. And num will get that value, and then we can simply print it out. So now we'll just throw num over here, and we'll say in our message here, we rolled a, and then we'll just throw in our integer. So that's all we have to do. And now when we go to build and run this, you'll see that, as you can see, right here, we rolled a 2, and if I continue to build and run this, we can get random outcomes. So now you can see we rolled a 1, it was we rolled a 2 earlier, now it's we rolled a 5, we rolled a 4, and as you can see, it basically it's going to distribute different numbers. And it's going to print numbers uh, 1 through 6, and eventually it'll hit a 6. As you can see, we rolled a 6. So that's basically how ran random number generators work. Um, so, one last time, uh, we create our random number generator here, and that's just how we declare it. That random number is put into here every time we run it, and um, we're only running it once though, so the random number is here. It takes the remainder of that, uh, remainder of that if we divide it by 6 for this case, because we're using a 6-sided die. So, it's either 0 through 5 but we want numbers 1 through 6, so we just add a 1 to that. So now we have values 1 through s 1 through 6, and whatever the random number is that's created from that will go to num, and num will be printed out in our statement. And if we wanted to make this shorter, we could even just put our random function inside of our printf. And then we could just delete this line entirely, and there we would just run the random number generator inside of our printf. And as you can see in our console, it works the exact same way. So that's random number generators, and it's um, pretty neat. It's uh, helpful. Sometimes you could probably use it for a board game if you don't have any die lying around. So yeah, uh, if you have any questions, leave um, questions in the comments below, or just send me a message. Anyway, see you next tutorial.